Okay, y'all. Got another pistol here I want to show you. Um, <clears throat> I've been taking a good ribbon from uh, Ebony and Josephus 44 mag because I didn't have one of these. It was a lot of fun, all in jest. Who's your daddy now? This is Stainless Pro Raptor 2. Show you real quick what it comes with, a little thing of oil. Uh, Meprolite Tritium Site Advertisements. Operations manual, NRA, cleaning procedure, warranty card, bicycle lock, uh, breech plug, and a little takedown piece of wire there. This is a real pretty uh, weapon. You know, I told you I'd try to get one and they had sold it. And uh, I recently went and they had two of them. Let's uh, safety check it, get that out of the way. Nothing in the barrel. Has a polished feed ramp, comes with the polished feed ramp. This is just a real nice, fancy looking 1911. It says here, custom shop, custom Kimber shop. Over here it says Stainless Pro Raptor 2. We'll look at some of the features. Uh, the most obvious feature, to me anyway, are the grips. Now these are full size grips. It has an eight round mag in it. So it comes with the full size grip and it has the um, scale pattern, kind of like a fish scale really makes a weapon stand out and it has the Kimber logo there in the middle it also has the front strap um, it's like a stippling but they call it a scale pattern as well as a scale pattern on the top. You see it here? And it holds down on the glare. Checkering on the back strap here, mainspring housing. And I, I don't know why, but you know, it's a plastic mainspring housing. I wish they'd get rid of that. It has the stippling or the scale pattern also here on both sides obviously. It has ambidextrous thumb safety. They're serrated. The slide lock is checkered. It's, it's a handsome, it's just a handsome weapon. The grip safety stands out quite a bit. As does the beaver tail. 
it has a match grade skeletonized hammer it has an aluminum trigger it can be adjusted through that little hole there for a trigger stop it's got a crisp crisp trigger as it is it is an all stainless construction both the slide and the frame it has a 22 pound recoil spring in it extended guide rod that's where this little piece of wire comes in for those of you who are not familiar with it there is a hole in the guide rod that you insert this little piece of wire and that captures the uh, the mainspring uh, the recoil spring rather the recoil spring when you go to disassemble it okay it has a matte grade stainless barrel it's a bull barrel it is bushingless there is no bushing on it the bushing is on the guide rod it comes in from behind right there it has comes with an eight round mag uh, I might, might have already said that that's why you have the full length grip very pronounced mag release extended slide lock it has a tactical wedge meprolite tritium night sights which I really like you know you don't have to shake them up you don't have to heat them up uh, they they glow continuously all the time and at night those of you that have it can vouch uh, you can see it across a room the night sights real nice three dot and during the day because of the dot you get a nice sight picture it has a four inch barrel total overall length is uh, 7.7 .7 inches and I think it's uh, five and a quarter inches high okay make a nice carry gun although this satin finish that is on here um, it tends to show uh, holster wear quite readily of course they all do it's one and a quarter inch wide a little over one and a quarter inches wide um, empty I, I, I picked this little scale up at uh, Harbor Freight it comes in handy around the house for you know large envelopes uh, when you're cooking if you have to measure something but it, for the curious, it's always nice to be able to weigh, weigh it. It's 35.3 ounces empty. Okay. The trigger, I mean, it breaks. There is, there's no travel in that trigger whatsoever, hardly. And it breaks... Uh, they advertise it between four and five pounds. Four pounds on the money. Just a pretty weapon. 
see the scale pattern on the top and and this here is a scale pattern but it's all, all almost like stippling you know it, the little gouges in there nice weapon uh, I will say uh, this grip here they had two of these and one of the grips was real 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 light didn't have the dark wood in there this is zebra wood it didn't have it in there I like the darker one better but uh, if you're ever in a shop and you're looking at pistols um, ask, ask them if they have some other ones so you can compare the grips you know 1911 owners they love messing with the grips um, I paid damn near MSRP for this uh, there's 1911s are scarce as hen's teeth around here we really don't have that many places where we can buy a weapon but I wanted y'all to uh, see it and I wanted Ebony and Josephus 44 Mag to see it uh, Mr. Bill uh, yours is in the wing just as soon as I get this uploaded and a couple more that I had planned I'll show everybody the pistol you bought me I appreciate y'all watching. Bye.